What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today with another video for you guys about Paladins and we're actually going to be talking about OB68. A lot of people have wanted to know a lot of the information of the new little features we're going to have, uh, speculations, if the new champion is going to be there and so many other informations and so I'm trying to do this video for you guys with all the information that I managed to gather. Now, first things first, uh, before we talk about Paladins at all, I just want to announce something. Today is day 14 of the month number 3. Remember this date because um, Stephen Hawkins, unfortunately, has died. So, for people who know who Stephen Hawkins is, um... He's an amazing man, and I gotta be honest, I don't see him just as a genius. I see him as somebody who went against all odds. A lot of people said that uh, he wasn't gonna make it for very long. Even the doctors told him that he was gonna die with 25 years old. And then he actually lived up to 76 years. This is amazing, okay? This man could only barely move a finger and blink, and he still... Not just that, his brain was amazing, okay? He was smart, he was probably the smartest man alive. And unfortunately today, he he perished and, you know, maybe he's in a better place, maybe he's not. Uh, nobody knows, but whatever happens, or as long as he lived a good life, you know, as long as he felt happy with himself, then probably that is the best and rest in peace Stephen Hawkins uh, we're gonna miss you a lot so without any further ado let's now talk about Paladins um, hear about Paladins so first things first for those who are on the console they delayed the OB66 OB67 that was coming out today yeah they actually found a little bit of a problem yesterday and they announced it on Twitter saying that they were gonna be trying to fix it but they didn't fix it on time so yeah we're still waiting <laughs> but beyond that um, what else do we have here well first things first you I just gotta I just gonna show you one or two things here on the Paladins website and the first one is here on which Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit of a, of, of a problem there, but uh, so you guys just need to know really, really simple, simple, and do pay attention. That's th uh, this is about supports, flanks are next. Basically, the highest team, you know, they, they they said that supports are very strong. They have a lot of winning ratio, and supposedly they're gonna have to nerf them all. The way they're going to nerf them is not through damage, it's through their health. And so they're going to reduce the health uh, of each and one of the support champions. And my opinion about this, I just got one thing. You use it Maldamba as an example, but it's because he has 2,600 of health. And indeed, compared to some other champions, that is good. But uh, there are some champions already so easy to kill, and they can't even fight. For example, if a victor comes right in front of them. So why would you think that this is actually something good? Like they say, he has 2,600, okay? We intend to pull it between 1,800 to 2,300. So probably Maldama would be like, you know, he would lose about 350. But still, they're using the winning ratio of the champions. We play as teams, we don't play as individuals, okay? We don't play solo, so why use uh, data from team-based winning ratios, okay? Of course, uh, of course, champions of supports are always gonna have winning ratio, because there's always supports on any team, okay? There's always some support having a win in each match. Unless somebody doesn't pick support, of course. But in if any case there's a team that 
forgets to actually pick a support, it's obvious that the other support, the other team has a, a higher advantage, so probably they're gonna win. I mean, why are you trying to destroy what's actually good? And if anything, we think that some of the supports should actually be even stronger, okay? Not go less than this, and this is, the problem is we're not just talking about Maldon, but we're talking about every single one of the supports. We're talking about Ying, we're talking about Grover, we're talking about Ceres. Why? Don't destroy champions just because they win, okay? Try to maybe put stronger champions of the ones that lose. But don't do it like this, okay? So, like, Grok is really, really strong, okay? That one can actually be nerfed a little bit because it's it's completely... It's, 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 it's a mini tank, talk, specifically. But the rest of the champions don't have to suffer for it, okay? So that's that. You know that supports are gonna have a little nerf, all of them, and apparently flanks also are gonna have it. And as I say here, who's ready for ranking season two? This means it's gonna get in OB68 because OB68 is when ranked season two gets uh, to start. So if you want to know when season two or uh, OB68 comes, just go into your normal game of Paladins and you know just just see how many days you have to wait. As for skins, can we get here? Maybe not. We cannot go directly here. So they're thinking about doing some new skins. As you can see here, this, these are just small little, you know. So they said there are skins who are amazing on, for example, Paladin's uh, Strike. And a lot of people ask, why don't we have these skins on the place, on, on the, you know, the normal Paladin's? Well, because on the Paladin's and the PC, you can actually change the head and the body and have it mixed up and so it is a lot easier to maybe do like a full skin from head to toes than actually trying to do just uh, you know parts and so they're going to change not just bring these new skins to game this is just concept of course it doesn't really mean they're coming they may or not, may not come so let's not focus too much on that but um, they're thinking of removing the way you choose your skins. Technically, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to choose a skin from head to toes instead of choosing a different head from a different body skin, okay? Like, apparently, if a long time ago, this actually happened. This was actually a thing on the first few Paladins. And and, and I gotta be honest, like, I'm not gonna li like it a lot, but still. They also said they're gonna be taking away some skins away, some accessories and etc. All standalone accessories will become one part skins, combining the accessories with the base champion's model. So, sort of the, you know, the things that aren't supposed to be there, certain uh, accessories are gonna be removed from the game, certain common skins of just recolored are gonna be removed. Uh, I think they're trying to leave just one recolored skin for each base champion on in the game and also buyable by gold so that's actually cool very cool and they're saying that making this change actually allows them to have the, the game less buggy and more clean etc and sort of I, I i understand and i agree i sort of agreed although i wish not i wish this was not because we actually have an advantage to other games uh we really don't have a chance so, as you can see here, these are some of the skins that are being explored, so it doesn't really mean they're coming. This is work in progress. Calm your... Calm, calm down, guys. Um, you have here a Tala skin. Pretty neat. It looks like an alien, although this looks much more aggressive than actually the Talus that you are known to, because it looks like a little kid. This looks more like a monster. Torvald here, at the beginning, as soon as I saw this, I almost thought this was Terminus. Uh, and Grover here is really weird. This is, doesn't even look like a, a tree anymore uh, at all. It, it looks more like a monster. So calling this a tree, uh, it's kind of weird. We're also seeing here one for Maeve as a pirate. That's actually pretty cool. And if this skin comes out, I'm definitely going to get it. We see here the shark head, the, the, the hammer shark head Maldamba. Really, really cool using like a snake. Uh, sea snake as the weapon really awesome and moji here 
which I gotta be honest, I love this skin. This skin is so damn awesome. They actually put a lot of effort into this little mo monster that they transform Poe and Lee to, and it is amazing. So that's that. The new system of skins is gonna change. They also did this little tease today of Can. Con, Karn, Karn. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to the name, so I'm actually just, I'm, I'm sort of an idiot not to know this, uh, you know, before time. Uh, and we're just gonna hear this, uh, that it was, you know, published. Uh, what is this? Okay, I don't know what that is, <laughs> but let's just hear this really quick. What would you have me do, Leon? So as you can see here, you know who this is. It, there's like uh, this is almost like a tease of the the champion that's coming up, but already everybody knows who it is. Okay, let's not talk a lot about it. This is just a line of probably when he starts, maybe with Leon on his side. I still don't know. Uh, I do know that it's coming, and we should definitely be looking out for that. And we also have here this. Let me just let's try to see this full screen, which would be much cooler. Uh, this is actually in low quality, I don't know why, but you see that? That's Janos. Uh, you can actually see like his head, his head is leaning forward with his head, uh, with his hair covering his face in higher quality, and he does this superhero takeoff like you see it on the Matrix movie also. Um, and this is supposedly the new map that it's coming out. So, yeah, we have here a lot of information, although this doesn't really say much, it does have a lot of information. And thank you, Harris, for actually uh, bringing this to us. And here it was the, the OB66, OB67 update hitting consoles today, which never happened, unfortunately. So, yeah, guys, that's all for the new information that I've got for OB68. I hope this has helped some people getting a little bit of information. Also, I was supposed to do a stream today, day 14. I didn't do it because, of course, the Paladins OB67 to the PlayStation didn't came out. But, truth be told, I will be uh, recording a video of my first logging in on OB67 on the PlayStation. Uh, the problem is, I I'm not going to be doing a stream about it because, unfortunately, I already have things to do tomorrow. And I believe they're going to be putting the patch tomorrow. So, yeah, for anybody who's seen this over, you know, OB67 has passed already, probably there's a video on my channel where you can actually go check out what I won on OB67 from all of my grinding on OB64 and so on, and what I'm gonna buy and etc. And, you know, just go there, drop a like as well, and tell me what you want me to buy with all of that money, because I definitely, I still don't know what to do. But yeah, guys, that's all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this has helped a lot of you. And, you know, let's hope these skins come into the game. But you still, you, there are still some, some work to do here. But still, thank you so much, Harris, for actually focusing a little more, more on skins now. Um, you know, it's really, really awesome. And also, guys, you should definitely come here into Twitter and, you know, start following Harris operations and at least... Paladins the game. There's a lot of information, new informations coming out all of the time. Like, for example, the console maintenance was here that I saw it. Uh, the Paladins Pro series. Everything is here. You, sh you guys should definitely come here and follow these guys. They have. Th this is like the first place of the information for Hyrus. Okay, so if you guys want to know anything on time, and for example, a maintenance, an update, just come here into Iris Operations or Paladins the game. You'll get these informations as soon as possible. And yeah, that's all for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on my next video.